Let's take this map that we've been working with and make a layout from it. So up until now we've just been interacting with this map on the screen and in order to prepare it for uh, printing on a piece of paper to add things like a title, uh, maybe a scale bar, and or to prepare it for exporting to something like a PDF, uh, we'll want to make a nice layout. So um, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, first we'll go up to the insert tab and we're going to choose new layout and this is where you choose the paper size and orientation. So uh, we're going to use just an 8.5 by 11 size office sheet of paper and we'll choose portrait orientation because Africa is kind of uh, vertically oriented and when that happens we'll see this uh, blank sheet appear on the screen and what we need to do with this once it appears here is um, we need to add a map. So the way we do that is go to this insert menu, not the one over on the far left, but this one uh, over to the right. And we're going to insert what's called a map frame. So a map frame will give us a map on here. And we can have multiple map frames, which I'll show in a little bit uh, for different purposes. So I'm going to choose the map that's just named map that I've been making of Africa here. And uh, here it gives it to me right on the screen. And uh, the first thing I'll probably want to do is to uh, pan and zoom this so it fits on the paper. Now if I use the scroll wheel right now to zoom, it's just going to zoom in on the piece of paper, which can be frustrating. Or it will move the map frame like that instead of panning the map. Um, so uh, if you're new to working with layouts, this can be frustrating. What you need to do is right click the map frame name and choose activate. And that will now put you in a mode where you can uh, zoom and pan around. Um, so let's do this where we zoom out a little bit and then we center the map. And now we need to deactivate. So to do that, you go up here on the Layout tab and close the activation. Now we're back to working with the page. Now let's put some other stuff on our map. Um, let's take a look at the Insert uh, tab again up here on this ribbon. And you can see all the types of stuff you can put on here. North arrow, scale bar, legend, and so on. If you click the bottom part of this north arrow, uh, you'll see lots of different north arrows you could put on there. Don't go crazy. Uh, I like using just kind of the basic one. Once it goes onto your page, you can select it, move it around. We can also put a title on this map. So if you insert text here, uh, just click where you want that to go and then you can adjust the text. Usually whenever you have something selected you have a special tab up here on the ribbon which can be easy to miss um, that allows you to format that thing. So if I want to format this text uh, maybe I choose to use a much larger font here. Whoops looks like I didn't have all my text selected so let's try that again. And then we can choose a different text style uh, like this one. Great, and now we can move this title around. There we go. Sometimes things are a little quirky, you just got to let them settle themselves out. It can take a second of waiting. Now, uh, one thing we might want to do is insert an inset map. So, Let's say we really wanted to show uh, the location of Egypt or maybe make a special map about something with Egypt and we want to use this space down here um, to show just a map of Egypt. So we can do that by inserting another map frame. I'm going to the insert menu, map frame, and I'm going to choose the exact same map that I did the first time uh, once this pops up. So boom, there's another map right there. And uh, but I just want this to show Egypt and I just want it to be about uh, this size so I've got to get this position the way I want it's going to take a minute okay and remember how to zoom this to Egypt uh, what we need to do is right click this and say activate. It looks like it named this new thing map frame one. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, try to rename this here. Let's call this the inset map. That's what we usually call these. So now we've made the inset map. We want to right click this and activate. And so now we can zoom and pan around. So we can zoom to Egypt here. 
Okay, and we've got that special map there on the side. And now we can go back here to the Layout tab and close the activation. Sometimes uh, what's common to do is to have a little box here showing that there's an inset map. That's called an extent, extent rectangle. Um, so I'm going to highlight this frame and we'll go to Insert, Extent Indicator, and it's going to be of the inset map. And boom, you can see that box appeared right here. We can click this, double click it, and we can have control over the frame. So maybe we want this to catch people's eye a little bit. We can make it red. Click Apply. Okay, so now people know that there's an inset map of Egypt. Um, another thing we might do is insert a scale bar on this inset map because uh, we can do that right here in the Insert menu. Uh, you can choose the style of scale bar. Again, this is where simplicity is pretty good. Okay, this scale bar pertains to this inset map. It does not pertain to all of Africa, so it would be incorrect if we put it outside of this box. We want to make sure that it's down in here. Uh, now, this has too much going on, way too many uh, details, uh, too many tick marks and stuff. Uh, so you can click the Design tab up here for your scale bar and really cut down the number of subdivisions. Um, really, we just want a couple of these, and uh, we probably want to leave it on a nice round number. Uh, but you can change between miles and kilometers uh, or millimeters if you want. So now we've got a little scale bar down there. And this is a nice layout that we could then export uh, into a PDF. Uh, we could print this out and it just gives us a nice way to share the map with others with some uh, presentation details that we've set up uh, to make the map easier to interpret.